Hi everybody, I'm Julie, writer and director of the Indie Nerdy Comedy Geek List Punk. And in this episode, I'm going to give a review of the book Will by Will Smith. And you're going to love it if you're uh, interested in reading the book. In West, welcome to the Julie Show. Hi everybody, I'm Julie. So I'm going to be talking about the book Will. So here's what happened, you guys. Um, you know, the Oscars happened and Will slapped Will Smith. Nope, Will slapped, well, Will slapped uh, Chris Rock. So I didn't know I cared so much, so I kind of did a couple podcasts and I did a YouTube video about it. Also, at the time, I do want to say this. At the time, I had a roommate who was kind of mean, like, whatever. And then, so I was feeling a little frustrated. And then I do think everyone was coming out of the global pandemic. We were still kind of inching out of the global pandemic. So I think everyone in general was just, I don't know, feeling a little frustrated. So I think it all built up. But anyway, so... You know, I, I, uh, I didn't know I cared. I, I, you know, but I, and I, I know like Will, Chris Rock, Jada, these are, they're all multimillionaires, but, uh, you know, I cared. I, I, it turns out I care. So, um, uh, so I did a video about Will just saying like, I, for, I guess what I'm trying to say is I was team Will. And, and then I saw Chris Rock, he did selective outrage about a year later, he did, that special on Netflix. I thought it was really good. So I wanted to give, you know, provide some empathy to Chris Rock because he didn't deserve to get hit. And then I got two comments on that video, like saying, yeah, like, uh, you know, I don't know, like, yeah, like go Chris. And I do want to say like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I am definitely team Chris Rock. Um, but I also just felt empathy for Will as well. So I know, I know. But he shouldn't have hit Chris. He shouldn't have done that. Now, not to be all, like, whatevs, but maybe this is, like, crass, but I do think if one day Will Smith and Chris Rock did a movie together, I feel like everyone would go see it. So I don't know if they want to do that one day, but I think I think they should do a movie together one day. I think everyone would go see it. Okay, and I did see Bad Boys uh, for Life, the latest one in a theater. I thought it was really good. So, okay. So, um, so I do want to say is like, yeah, I'm a huge friend, a fan of Chris Rock. He's a genius. And, but anyway, so that's why I went ahead and listened to, after the, the slap, I went, uh, the slap, uh, I went ahead and listened to Will on Audible. And so this is my review of the book. Um, the book is really, 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 really good. If you listen to it on Audible, you get to hear Will Smith read it. Um, you also get to hear him perform, and, and in the recording, he talks about different kinds of music, and then they'll play different kinds of music. So overall, like, based on the book, and granted, it's written by Will Smith, but he, seem, he seems like a pretty nice guy. So uh, he's not perfect, but he seems like a nice guy. So, um, okay, so, but also, like, in the book, he's pretty honest about, hey, like, uh, not surprising, like, being one of the most beloved uh, movie stars of all time like you know perhaps that got to his head there's times where he's egotistical so um and he had to learn how to like not be egotistical <laughs> or there's times where he his kids or his wife like he saw them as extensions of his ego and not like individual people so <laughs> his kids seem nice Jaden and Will, Willow they seem nice and talented and awesome so I'll just be talking I grew up on Will you know I was a kid when uh the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air was on air and I remember seeing Independence Day like on 4th of July like in a theater and it was that movie was so exciting to watch I, I I'll never forget that um, okay, so so three things in the book that I thought were pretty good um, was that, uh, okay, so, oh, and Will seems really humble, like, in, well, in a lot of ways, like, he doesn't quite understand why he's so beloved, but he just does come across really lovable to me, he does, so, um, okay, so one of the stories in the book was that um, Jada, you know, they, they'd been together for a while, they'd been married for a while, and Jada started a heavy metal band, which is just really fucking cool. Excuse my language. And in her 30s, she sh she started this, like, kick-ass heavy metal band, and I think that's awesome. And they toured. She said, like, 
Will says like Sharon Osborne, uh, wife of Ozzy Osborne, was like really nice to them. And he says that, oh, that yeah, it was it was Sharon who encouraged Jada to tour on Ozfest with their band. I think that's really fucking cool. And with that, um, with her band, uh, she got invited uh, to open for Guns N' Roses, which is just really cool, <laughs> you know what I mean? So she got the invitation to go on tour with her band to open for Guns N' Roses. That's huge, you know? But what happened was because there was, they had just had a kid, Jaden, and then, um, which is awesome, kids are awesome, Jaden was young, and then Will had to go shoot a movie, and even even Jada understood, like, as far as, like, basically Jada's heavy metal band, that this is her passion project, but I mean, if she's opening for Guns N' Roses, looks like it's turning into something, but then, um, Will had to shoot a movie, and they both understood, like, Will's career was more of the money making you know machine or whatever so it's like so what jada did was she she gave up the opportunity to tour with guns and roses with her band and she stayed home to take care of Jaden. and like they're rich they're multi-millionaires so like they have the money to get a nanny you know what i'm saying so like hearing that story like basically like jada kind of gave up her dream so that Will could keep going with his acting career, like, and in the book, Will says, sorry about that, babe, like, he, he says that, so, you know, it does, I don't know, yeah, I, I was like, oh, okay, I, I felt bad for Jada in that story, because, like, you know, I, I, I just, I felt bad for, uh, well, I mean, but, like, you know, yeah, she did the right thing, I guess, for sure, like, taking care of her kid, and, um, so that story is like, oh, okay. And then the second story, okay, the second thing I like about the book is that Will, um, when Will starts talking about music, it's like really, um, it's really interesting. And like, yeah, Will, I think, uh, this is back in the 80s. It's that, um, that, uh, he was the first rapper to be at the Grammys, something like that, like that. But basically the Grammys were sort of, Sounds like they were kind of racist, so <laughs> so it, it was it was actually Will and Jazzy Jeff who kind of like made who opened the door or help open the door and make the Grammys a little more uh, racially diverse. So like it's so uh, something like that. I don't know a lot about the Grammys, but basically Will Will Smith actually did a lot to like. Um, uh, it wasn't just him, you know what I mean? Like, there's, like, Public en Enemy and the uh, uh, Queen Latifah, and, and so it wasn't just him, but uh, Run DMC, but, like, Will Smith did really help make rap, like, uh, or hip-hop, like, help make it a little more mainstream, and so I, I, I didn't realize, um, yeah, the part where he starts talking about music is really fascinating, and, um, yeah, and I, you know, I like his songs, uh, Girls Ain't Nothing But Trouble, right? So, I, you know, I, 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 I don't know. <laughs> I don't have any street cred. I grew up, I didn't grow, grow up on the streets. I grew up on the country roads of small town Virginia. So I, I'm certainly not an expert on hip hop or rap, but I listen to hip hop and rap sometimes. I enjoy it. I like it but uh, definitely not an expert. So the parts of where he's talking about the history of rap and hip hop and that he was kind of coming up when it became, it was really becoming a thing. Like that part's really interesting and fascinating. So that part's really interesting in the book for sure. And um, so it, it's just really cool. And there's this part where like, you know, um, there's this part where Will's trying, like, Really, Will really does, I don't know, I feel like he, you know, oh yeah, he talks about how his, 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 um, his dad was physically abusive to his mom, so domestic violence, basically, and so he talks about how, like, um, he, he was always, like, ashamed of himself for not being able to protect his mom, but he was, like, a kid, so, you know, and that was his dad, so there's only so much he could do. But he, what he said, what what made him get into comedy was that, like, if he could make his dad laugh and keep his dad in a good mood, 
then that would um, that would make his dad in a in a good mood. It would help. It would help his dad be less physically abusive towards his mom. So that's how he got into comedy. That part's like you know heartbreaking, but that's how he got like he's talked about in interviews how he. He, he he wants a lot of love and validation from women. I totally get it. I totally relate to that <laughs> so, as a lesbian, which is what I am. Okay, so there's this part in the book where he talks about how it, cause he's talking to his therapist and he's kind of trying to be like badass or controversial, right? Like it, it does annoy me when people say Will Smith is soft. He's soft. They don't mean that in a nice way. That kind of annoys me because it's like, Will Smith is an actor. I think his music's really good. And it's like, he's going to be himself, right? And he, and he's a comedian. Like, I don't know. I don't think he's soft. I just think, I think even Eminem was trying to like talk shit about Will Smith. And I was like, dude, like, come on. Like, I mean, whatever. Like, uh, you know, Eminem's very talented, but it's like, come on, you're using a medium invented by black people, African Americans. You're using that medium to insult a black man, an African American man, like, it's kind of like, yo, like, that's not cool, Eminem. <laughs> like, it's not cool, like, shut up, Eminem. Okay, but he is, Eminem is good at acting. I mean, he, oh yeah, he's good at acting, and he's good at rapping. I hope he's having a great day, like, whatever. But, I don't know, I just don't like how, like, I, I don't like how, how people would come at Will in a way that, that wasn't nice, but, you know, whatever. So, because he's really, really good at, at acting, he is one of the greatest actors of all time. He just is. I like The Pursuit of Happiness. Um, I love that movie. I saw it in the theater when it came out. I've seen it a couple times. He's just so good in that movie. So a really good, very talented. And so is Jada. Jada's extremely talented too, like legit. She's really good at acting too. Um, sometimes in Hollywood, there's more opportunities for men than women. And that's how the cookie crumbles. Um, but I'm not like mad at Hollywood. I'm just saying like, you know, it's a tough business. So, uh, okay. So there's this part in the book where Will, Will says to his therapist, he's like, you know what I want? I want a harem of women. And like his, and he's trying to be like badass and that kind of thing. But even his therapist is like, his therapist is like, oh, you want a harem of women? And like, cause the thing is like, it does seem like Will, Will Smith's a good person to me. You know, I get it. He's a, he, you know, he's, he's a A-list rapper, celebrity, multimillionaire, but he still seems like a good person to me. Maybe he's not perfect, but he seems like a good person to me. So, so his therapist is like, the reason why you would want a harem of women is because you want as much love and validation from women as you can get. Like, it's it's not about you being sleazy. It's just about love and validation. And I was like, exactly. So, so uh, the part where, uh, and Will starts, ex you know, uh, making, uh, anyway, he starts explaining which women he'd want in his harem, but it's just like, you know, if you had a harem of women, you'd treat them really well. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Like, he just seems like he's a good person. And so, like, I don't know, you know. So, um, and the last thing I wanted to say about the book, I totally recommend it. I listen to it on Audible. I have a, I have a job, a day job where I can just do my work and listen to stuff, so, which, which is, which is a, a blessing for sure. So the third thing I would say about, um, the book oh so i know people talk about the birthday party so it was jada's birthday party i think her 40th and like he did this huge thing but then she she talks about how it wasn't about her it was about his ego and that kind of thing and so i think for regular people i'm a regular person i think for us like um you know like maybe like yeah for sure if someone did that for me i'd be like whoa that's amazing but I think with Will and Jada, considering they've both been in the industry since they're like 19, 20, you know, they've been in the industry for a while. Uh, I think Jada, they're both used to these big events. So I think that like, it sounded to me when I listened to the book, it's or on Audible, it sounded to me like maybe Jada just wanted something more chill and more quiet and maybe just like a small family thing and like, just a little more it just sounded to me like she didn't want this big thing she wanted something more chill and I kind of get that like if you want like a big party birthday party or you want more like a quiet birthday party that's more the vibe I got so 
Anyway, in the book, I think he does a good job of just like, um, I don't know, it's a good book. It's an interesting book. By the way, just a little antidote, my friend was a background actor on, um, uh, did you do Men in Black 3, I think it was? Yeah. And, uh, yeah. And she said in New York City, and she said, because she doesn't usually talk too much about, she's been a, she's a working actor. She's been a background actor on a lot of different things. So, but anyway, she's a background actor for Men in Black, uh, 3. And she, 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 I remember her posting this on Facebook. She, she, she said she was blown away. She said, like, um, when Will Smith was on set, he was, he was extremely nice to every single person on that set. Whether it was a PA or a background actor, pr pr you know, a production assistant, or whether it was, like, the director, she said he treated every human being on that set equally as anyone else. Like, he, she said she couldn't believe how gracious and kind and nice he was to everyone on set. And I think... I don't know that again I think he's a good person so I don't know so anyway so Will is a really good book I really recommend it totally recommend it and I hope Chris Rock is doing really well and I think Jade I hope Jaden and Will are doing really well and yeah I, th I hope Jaden and Willow are doing really well too because like growing up in the spotlight just isn't easy so all right thank you so much for listening uh watching Will is a great book. I totally recommend it. Totally uh, audible uh, reading. It's a great book. Uh, thanks so much for watching. I'm Julie. I'll talk to you later. Bye.